manager Dusty Baker celebrated Jackie Robinson's legacy on the 73rd anniversary of the fall of the Major League Color Barrier and lamented the lack of African Americans in today's game. Only 7.7% of big league players on opening day rosters last year were African American, which is down from 17% in 1990. Joining us now from Greenville, South Carolina, to talk more about this is Dr. U.A. Thompson. Uh, Dr. U.A., Baker and Dodgers manager Dave Roberts are the only two African-American managers in the majors. We've had many conversations about what the roster looks like, about what the teams look like, and about what the administration looks like as far as it relates to people of color. Um, but obviously the facts do not lie. Absolutely, Nietzsche, and I think uh, Major League Baseball uh, will have to make uh, some adjustments uh, in, within its leadership roster as well if they expect to reach uh, African Americans. Its checkered past relative to people of color, uh, I think, have helped facilitate uh, the lack of blacks playing in the Major League. Uh, for instance, uh, Nietzsche, I believe that if they would start uh, some type of effort toward uh, recruitment at historically black colleges and universities, uh, encouraging uh, investment uh, in local uh, centers in uh, neighborhoods of color, as well as at these HBCUs uh, for starting various types of summer programs relative to baseball. I think they will see those numbers increase. Uh, but with, the, with, with them doing absolutely nothing uh, to help facilitate uh, increasing those numbers, we're going to continuously uh, see a lack of black players on the field. It's not that we can't play and that we're not good at it. Uh, I think it's just, you know, we're not being recruited, so there's no star players for our kids to look up to and want to patternize themselves after. Yeah, uh, you know, Robinson broke the color barrier on April 15, 1947 for the Brooklyn Dodgers. His number 42 was retired throughout the major leagues in 1997 by then commissioner Bud Selleck. Um, an annual Jackie Robinson day started in 2004. And since 2009, all players, managers, coaches have worn his number 42 to mark that day. That states that this was something monumental, um, a breaking in the color barrier, like we've said, and something very unique, but um, definitely more efforts are needed to bring more people yes. of color to the major league field. Absolutely. Well, you know, they, they, you know, while I'm, I'm appreciative of them, uh, wearing his number, they've got to do more than that. It, 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 it has to move beyond symbolism, uh, to actuality. They have to realize the fact that they have to put some money where their mouth is, and they also have to, uh, have the administration, uh, to look uh, like uh, the, 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 the people that they're trying to represent or the people that they want to play in the game. I think they're going to have to start, as I previously mentioned, uh, these summer programs, uh, visiting HBCUs, putting some money out there uh, so that they can uh, start baseball leagues in various uh, areas. And then, you know, their, their recruitment process has got to uh, increase as well. Yeah, hopefully we will see some unique changes. Definitely, uh, this is a conversation that we will continue to have. Dr. Ewan Thompson, always very insightful. Uh, maybe they'll recruit you for the next Major League Baseball game. Thanks so much for joining us today. Thank you, Nietzsche. Always glad to be here.